People of Asian heritage have been part of the United Church of Canada for over 130 years in congregation that stretch across the county. It is a history of accomplishment and grace in the face of painful struggle. The first Asian Heritage Congregational members came from the Chinese, Korean, and Japanese communities. Their churches flourished as sanctuaries from the racism outside and allowed them to keep their culture and language alive. But in the early 1940s, even being part of the United Church with no protection against laws, which stripped Japanese Canadians of their property, businesses, and even their churches. So my parents um, were 10 and 11 years old um, when they were interned um, in the Second World War, and they were placed in this place where um, there was uh, no toilet facility. It was, it was cold, and um, they, had, they lost a lot of, of uh, their own belongings, and their own places of comfort. They were only able to bring what they could carry in two suitcases, so their, their prized possessions, for most of them, weren't with them. Uh, they, had no, they thought they were going to be away for just a little bit, and it turned out a real long time, and they never saw those possessions again, unless they had people who could save it for them. But for the most part, it was sold. Um, all their things were sold. Uh, and then after the war, they weren't able to move back again, so they had to move to who knows where. Over 60 years later, the United Church acknowledged the injustice of each treatment of Japanese Canadian Church members. The 40th General Council in Kelowna, British Columbia, heard firsthand from some of the internment survivors. But the church words were too late for many of the former detainees. As the 20th century rolled on, new waves of immigrants from China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines began to arrive swelling the older congregation and forming new ones. For many new Canadian, churches became extended family in a new country. I've recently reconnected with my roots in the Philippines. I'm of uh, Chinese ancestry, but I was born in the Philippines. And so four years ago during my sabbatical, I went to the Philippines and visited relatives visited our United Church partners, and also worshiped at United Church of Christ in the Philippines and United Methodist uh, congregations. And I found that, surprisingly, their, their liturgy is very similar to ours. So I, it made me realize that, you know, when they come to Canada, our United Church of Canada congregations would be a, a, a natural home for them. So I started to ask, you know, why is it that not more of them are coming to our congregations? Well, uh, since that time when I came back to Canada, I did help a group of uh, Filipino Canadians that were at my United Church develop a ministry, an outreach ministry, a Bible study, and it later, over two or three years, became a United Church mission of our presbytery. So now they're called Filipino Christian Fellowship, and they are, they've been, a, a, well, a, a mission since last year, and they're growing. They're maybe 50, 60 people on a Sunday, mostly younger folks. Um, so I'm really excited about that. In the 1980s, people fleeing the civil war in Sri Lanka arrived in Canada. Tamil Christians in Toronto started meeting over 30 years ago but only recently has the group been officially recognized as a United Church congregation. There are other denominations within the uh, Tamil congregation, so uh, we are very tolerant Christians. So uh, when we came to Canada, again, uh, you know, we had the Methodist background. Uh, the transition was very easy, so that's one of the things even we enjoy today. And uh, because we, we experience uh, all the struggles in terms of the war, in terms of the discrimination because of, uh, uh, you know, race, religion, religion and so on so forth. Uh, we, we actually, when we came to uh, Canada, there was always a compassion to help people in that need. So we were practically born 
with a social justice component within us. So that also was a good fitting because that is one of the foundation of the United Church of Canada. So I think uh, th the fit is wonderful. During the month of May, we remember and are thankful for the many contributions made by people of Asian heritage to the United Church for the gifts of leadership, worship, membership, and wisdom.